So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about problems involving radical equation. The square root of the sum of a number and 4 is 5. Let us find the number. So this is the square root. So square root and how to represent the sum of a number. The sum of a number. A number is represented with the letter of x. So x sum. So it means x plus 4. So a square root of x plus 4 is, so equals, and then 5. Afterwards, let us solve now for the value of x to find the number. So let us square both sides. So if we square both sides, we cancel 2 and then the radical sign. So that becomes x plus 4. 5 times 5, the answer is equal to 25. Positive 4 going to the right side, so that becomes bring down x, bring down 25, and then positive 4, change the sign. So 25 minus 4, the answer is equal to 21. So x is equal to 21. Let us solve problem number 2. 3 times the square root of 2 equals the square root of the sum of a number and 10. So 3 times so 3 times the square root of 2 so it means 3 is square root of 2 so 3 square root of 2 equals the square root of the sum of a number so number is represented by x so sum yon so it means square root of x plus 10 so right now we can solve now the number so let us square both side so if we square both side 3 times 3 that is equal to 9 square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is exactly positive 2. And then cancel 2 and then the radical sign that becomes x plus 10. Let us solve now the number or let us solve for x. 9 times 2, the answer is 18. And then positive 10, change the sign going to the left side and then bring down x. 18 minus 10, the answer is 8. So 8 is equal to x or x that is equal to 8. So the number, the number that is unknown, that is equal to 8. How about number 3? A certain number is the same as the square root of the product of 8 and the number. Find the number. So a certain number, x, so x is the same as the square root of the product. So, square root of the product of 8 and the number. So, it means square root of 8x. So, this is the square root. And then, this is the product. Number is represented by x. So, square root of 8x. So, let us find the number. So, let us square both sides. So, x times x, that is x squared. And then square root of 8x cancel 2 and then the radical sign that becomes 8x. Going to the left side, we need to change the sign. So x squared minus 8x is equal to 0. But then how to identify the value of x? So what could be the common between x squared minus 8x? So the common is x. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 8x divided by x, that is negative 8 and then equals copy 0. So right now, using the 0 property, paghiwalay natin yung dalawa. So x is equal to 0. So the first value of x is equal to 0. The second one, x minus 8 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 8. So the number are 0 and 8. In example number 4, negative square root of a number equals number decreased by 2. Find the number. So negative, so negative square root, so number represented by x. So negative square root of x equals number decreased by 2. So it means x decreased is subtract, so x minus 2. So let us solve now the number. So let us square both sides. 
So negative times negative, that is positive. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign, so that becomes x. And this one is the square of binomial. x times x, that is x squared. x times negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. Afterwards, let us combine like terms. So this one on the left side, that is 0. So x squared, how to get negative 5x, negative 4, and then positive x going to the right side, negative x. So negative 4, and then negative 1, that is negative 5x. Bring down positive 4. It is also equal with x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. So parehas lang yan. So afterwards, let us get the factor to find the number. Think a factor that the product is 4 when we add that is negative 5. So the factor is negative 4 times negative 1. If we check negative 4 times negative 1, that is positive 4. If we add negative 4 minus 1, the answer is negative 5. So it means the factors are x minus 4 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. If we solve x minus 4 equals 0, so it means x that is equal to positive 4. Second one, x minus 1 is equal to 0, so it means x that is equal to positive 1. But then, kung magsasatisfy sa equation, alin kaya dyan yung tamang sagot? 4 and 1, or 4 only, or 1 only? So let us check. Negative the square root of 4, so this means negative 2. While here, 4 minus 2, that is equal to positive 2. So it means negative square root of 2, it is not equal with positive 2. So x is equal to 4 is not the answer. How about the second one, that x is equal to positive 1? Negative the square root of 1. So negative the square root of 1, that is negative 1. While on the right side, 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. So it means negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So the number, the only answer is positive 1. In example number 5, find the side of a square whose area is 500 square meters. So the formula for the area of the square, that is A is equal to S square, or S squared is equal to A. So the side of the square, so that is S squared, is equal to the area. So the area, that is equal to 500. To be able to solve for the side of the square, so let us write the square root on both sides. So square root of s squared, positive negative square root of 500. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign, so that becomes s. And then think a factor of 500 having the perfect square. So that is 100 times 5. And the square root of 100 is exactly positive negative 10 and copy positive 5. So, positive negative 10 square root of 5. So, that could be the side of the square. So, alin ba yung side na kukunin natin? So, meron tayong sagot na positive 10 square root of 5 at meron din tayong negative 10 square root of 5. So, obviously, wala na bang side na negative. So, it means our side of the square that is 10 square root of 5. instruction solve each word problem provide your answers in the comment section enjoy learning mathematics i'm teresa tubal thank you so much